Visual impairment is an important public health issue, mainly in the developing countries, as it impairs the quality of life, limits the career choices and job opportunities, thus constituting a social economic burden in the society. People with disability, disability of 40% or more are considered as a visual disabled or handicapped and entitled a lot of government benefits, such as reservation in colleges, jobs, travel concession, income tax benefits, and various other disability benefits. Hence, there were many applications of these certificates. Conclusion, the study analysis shows the leading cause of visual impairment is retinitis pigmentosa. Avoidance of consanguineous marriages and genetic counseling should be made mandatory to prevent blindness to rule out retinite wisdom. These are my references. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Next speaker, Dr. Snehita, please. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my topic is accuracy of Bruckner's test in screening of refractive errors and observational study. Financial support and sponsorship nil, conflicts of interest nil. Introduction, digital gadgets usage is nowadays is increasing, increasingly common among young children. They can cause ex uh, excessive near work and cause or increase refractive errors. Nowadays, the parents are worried about the possibility of refractive errors because of the increased usage of these digital gadgets among children. Snellens visual acuity with cycloplegic refraction is widely accepted way to uh, detect refractive errors, but usually children are uncooperative for visual acuity, screening and refraction. So Bruckner's test is useful for early detection of refractive errors, especially in children, as, I, as it is an objective test and therefore can be used for testing preverbal children. The Bruckner's test is a rapid, ergonomic, and affordable method for detecting refractive errors in children. The purpose of the current study to uh, is to assess the test sensitivity and specificity in screening of refractive errors among children. Type of study, it's a hospital-based cross-sectional study. Study population, children who attended uh, optal OPD uh, for routine IA checkup. Study period is from June 2022 to June 23. Inclusion criteria, age 2 to 10 years of age, normal pupillary reactions, cooperative children. Exclusion criteria, media opacities, prior intraocular surgeries, nystagmus, presence of uh, maximum deviations, and small pupillary size. Uh, the Bruckner's test was performed in a semi-dark room with patients seated with gaze fixed on a distant object. Both eyes of the subject were illuminated simultaneously using direct ophthalmoscope from a distance of one meter. The ophthalmologist looking through the direct ophthalmoscope observes a reflex in the pupillary area and will adjust the lens dial until the reflex was sharply focused. Then the presence or absence of any pupillary crescent all along with the size and location of pupillary crescent was noted. Based on the reflex, the eyes were classified as emetropia and emetropia. Emetropia includes hy myopia, hypermetropia, and astigmatism. The readings of autorefractometer were recorded, and the results were compared to that of the Bruckner's test performed earlier. Subjective refraction was carried out later in cooperative children. This is the picture. Uh, in emetropia, uh, we will uh, be seeing no crescent, whereas in myopia, inferior crescent is seen. Whereas in hypermetropia, superior crescent is seen. In astigmatism, we could see a crescent along the uh, clock hours. Uh, we, uh, we interrupt uh, based on uh, the position of the crescent. If there is no crescent, uh, it is uh, emetropia. If there is uh, presence of inferior crescent, it is myopia. Superior crescent, hypermetropia. And crescent anywhere, astigmatism. Um, if the size of the crescent is less than one third and it is inferior, my, we could roughly estimate the in, uh, refractive error of around minus two less than minus two diopters. If it is one third to two third uh, size and it is inferiorly located, myopia greater than two diopters to minus four diopters. If it is uh, more than two third and uh, located inferiorly, myopia uh, uh, more than uh, four diopters. If it is less than one third and superiorly located, hypermetropia less than uh, plus two diopters. If it is uh, one third to two third and uh, superior located, hypermetropy of range two to four diopters. And if it is more than two third located superiorly, hypermetropy greater than four diopters. Results: 76 patients, uh, 152 eyes of age group two to ten years were included in the study, out of which 40 uh, were males, around 52.6 percent, and uh, 36 were females, 47.3 52 eyes were emetropic by Bruckner's test, and out of 52 eyes, 44 eyes were AR negative and 8 were uh, AR positive. 100 eyes were emetropic by Bruckner's test, and out of 188 eyes were AR positive and 12 were AR negative. Among 100 emetropic eyes by Bruckner's test, 70 eyes were myopic and 10 eyes were hypermetropic and 20 eyes were astigmatic. Um, among 70 myopic eyes by Bruckner's test, 66 were AR positive and 4 were AR negative. 
Among 10 hypermetropic ice by Bruckner's test, uh, 8 were po AR positive and 2 were AR negative. Among 20 astigmatic ice uh, by Bruckner's, 14 were positive AR and 16 were AR negative. The range of myopia in this study was minus 0.5 to minus 7 and range of hypermetropia was 0.5 to uh, plus 6.50. In our study, sensitivity of myopia was around 94%, hypermetropia was 80% and astigmatism is around 70%. The above uh, s uh, tables are already explained in the results. Coming to discussion, in 1961, Bruckner described a low-cost test to perform screening for amblyopia. Kothari MT then described the uh, use of this test as a rapid screening modality for refractive errors in, Indi in uh, Indian children in 2007. Boris described the explanation of location of pupillary crescent by comparison with the photoretinoscopy, where the light source is below the aperture of the camera like direct ophthalmoscope. If the eye is myopic, only the rays from the bottom of the pupil enter the aperture of ophthalmoscope and it is illuminated on the same side as that of light source and the crescent is seen inferiorly, whereas in hyperopic case, only the rays uh, in the top half illuminated and the upper part in the pupil area. The present study was conducted to re-evaluate the sensitivity and specificity of Bruckner's test as a screening test. The chosen age of children included in uh, the present study was 2 to 10 years. A total of 152 eyes were examined and Bruckner's test demonstrated 100 eyes, 66% uh, to have ametropia and 52 eyes, 34 were diagnosed to be ametropic. AR revealed 96 uh, eyes, 63% with ametropia, which is comparable to the results of the Bruckner's test. Our study is comparable to Neha and, uh, Neha and et al, whose study results were similar to our study. Jalis M et al in their study documented 83.4% uh, ametropia. After comparing the results of Bruckner's test with AR, the test was found to be highly sensitive and, specif and specificity around 79% for the detection of refractive errors. In this study, the relationship between the size and uh, size of the pupillary crescent and degree of refractive error also made. There was a significant association between the crescent size and grade of myopia or hypermetropia. Due to subjective nature of results, there's a possibility of intra and intra observer variations. Um, conclusion, this test has a good sensitivity for detecting myopia and hypermetropia. An estimation of degree of refractive error can also be made, made on the crescent size. Thus, it can be used for screening of refractive errors in children as it is a cost-effective and rapid method to detect refractive errors. Thank you. Okay, thank you.